If you've been to an eclipse, you've probably seen these solar filter glasses. I'm going to show you how to make a filter for binoculars using these glasses. This is the image that you get just putting it up to your eye. And this is the image holding the phone up to a pair of binoculars that have a filter over them. There's two types of binoculars. There's one that has the light that just goes straight through the tube. And the other one has a prism in it where the light is reflected back and forth. Um, and they require a little bit different design. For this, you can use cereal box cardboard. And what you'll do is you'll cut strips that are about an inch and a half wide. And you want to have an inch overlap going up onto the binoculars. So draw a reference line. And do this on both. You'll need one for each side. And then you want to make three tabs. And you can just mark those off. And then cut out the cardboard that's in between the tabs. And then cut some notches going down just to the reference line. So that you'll have three tabs on each. And do the same for the other side. Then take a straight edge. And you want to just bend it over so that it bends at a 90 degree angle. And you're going to wrap it around the binocular. a little white glue on there and then put a rubber band or if they're small rubber bands put a couple or three of them And do the same thing for the other side. Take a pair of the Eclipse glasses and cut each lens out so that it's separated. And you'll need a couple of squares of cardboard that's a little bigger than the eye piece. Trace a circle around the binoculars. Poke a hole through that you can st use to start cutting out the middle. Then 
and cut out the center of the circle. And add a little bit of white glue around the edge of the eyepiece. Then center the, the hole that you just cut out over the eyepiece. And then put something on there just to weight it down as it dries. And then you're going to do the same thing to the other side. And you're going to put some glue on the tabs. And you want to center it over, right over the center of the hole. And put a weight on it to hold it down. And then do the same thing to the other side. Then let it dry for an hour and pull the rubber bands off. And slide them over. You want to make sure that they fit snug enough so that they don't fall off. Now for the other type of binocular, there's a slight variation. Most of it's the same as what we just did. You're going to cut out the cardboard to fit the size of the binocular. Gonna do the same to the other side. And when you cut these out, you want to leave enough extra cardboard that you have enough room to glue the tabs onto it. On this one, you're going to cut the hole through the cardboard a little bit bigger than the lens of the filter material. And you're going to cut it so that it's all the way to one side, go 
going towards the middle of the hole, so it's offset. And the hole is going to be a little bit bigger than the filter material, but smaller than the glasses cardboard material. So I outlined the outside edge, and now I'm going along and making a line about a quarter inch or an eighth, maybe an eighth of an inch in from the edge. And then you want to cut that out. You want to make sure that the holes are just big enough so that the lens is fully exposed, but you still have enough room to glue. And then add a little bit of white glue. Make sure it's centered. and then put something on it to weight it down. And then you're gonna do the same thing to the other side. And you want to line this up so that it's about an eighth of an inch from the edge of the circle going towards the center of the circle. So it's going to be off-centered. And then you're going to do the same thing for the other one. You wait an hour, take the rubber bands off. Now these have to be lined up a certain way relative to the prism inside. So what you're gonna do is you look at the binoculars and when you put them on, it's gonna be angled so that it's parallel to the prism inside. So the eyepiece, so you line it up so that goes between the two lenses, the eyepiece and the actual outer lens. So they're going to kind of, they'll be kind of canted in just a little bit. And you'll need to uh, look up at the sun and be able to rotate it a little bit so you can dial it in to get it exactly at the angle that it needs to be. It'll require just a little bit of, of adjustment. You'll be able to see a more magnified image of the sun. It's a lot more impressive and you'll even be able to see sunspots and on here you can see a sunspot this is one of the largest sunspots i've ever seen it's in the middle there's a little bit of cloud in the shot but there's a very large sunspot in the middle of the disc of the sun there it's a much better viewing experience if you can use binoculars as opposed to just your naked eye it's so much more detail these are some images i got of some previous eclipses and if you're able to get to a total eclipse it's definitely worth the trip it's absolutely spectacular. Your eye is so much more sensitive than a camera and it gets so much more detail. And then if you can get a telescope, it's even better. But at the very least, you want to make sure you take binoculars. Thanks for watching. I hope you're able to enjoy this. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much.